Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we just saw the Batman. Uh, let's have a little quick chat about it. Um, okay, the Batman. New movie. Here's the thing about the Batman. I actually have a little bit of Batman fatigue. I know. Look, even me with the Batman painting I did up there, <laughs> which can be years. So um, there's just been a lot of Batman stories, dude. There's just been a lot of Batman movies. And when I was a little kid, three, four, five, whatever it was, three or four, loved Batman. I still love Batman. He's one of my favorites. But there's just been so many versions of Batman. And the Chris Nolan was so good. I love Christian Bale. I love Chris Nolan. And uh, didn't know what Matt Reeves is going to do. Although Matt Reeves knows comics and he knows these kind of stories. So, the Batman. Um, it's very good. I enjoyed it. Let's talk about the production for just a minute. Uh, I love the art direction, the production design. They really leaned into that gritty look. This is the most gritty, grimy, rainy uh, water all the time. There's always some water element in this film. Um, they really leaned into that. And I hope they don't go any darker. This is, this is to me, as far as really you can go that, that's worth even the character is very Rorschach, Rorschach -y, you know. Uh, I say Rorschach or Rorschach? Rorschach? I don't know why it's late. It's, for some reason, it sounds weird to me. Um, and Rorschach is like, you know, like the question. I mean, it, it's, it's this whole element of the very dark anti-hero. The actor um, ve looks very vampiric. The... the you know, very pale, perfectly coiffed hair when he pulls off the mask. He's got the makeup that like around his eyes that kind of drips down, almost like the crow, very kind of emo, um, industrial kind of look. Again, he's got that, that grimy feel to it, that, um, you know, French connection, eight millimeter David Fincher kind of feel look to it. Uh, seven, those kind of movies, right? This is kind of, that's what, this is like seven, but in fact, wow, now that I said that, it's a lot like seven. Uh, it's a serial killer film. It's a mystery. Most, most Batman and most movies are mysteries, but this is a serial killer film. He's, you know, searching out the Riddler and what's going on. Riddler's going after all these corrupted, uh, people in power. Um, there's elements of story-wise, you know, okay, hang on, before we go to story, let's continue with the production. Uh, I did like the muscle car. The bikes are cool. Uh, it actually has a lot of production that reminds me of Paul Pope's Batman book called, I think it's called Batman 100 or Year 100. Very good. It's got that gritty, real, bulky, um uh, gear and armor on I me mean, the actor must have just been sweating his balls in this freaking get up uh could not have been comfortable at all um i kind of dug it did you guys notice how the when he walked it almost had like kind of a spurs sound to it a little bit of like really like thick and there's a little bit of clang, a little bit of like metal clang, sound like spurs when he was walking. Um, I dug it. I dug all the design. I dug all that. I like the costumes. I like I like the the whole world that they created. Uh, they I mean they leaned in on that that kind of. It actually feels like Watchmen, like the real Watchmen from the comic. If you, I, I'm still gonna go back to that Rorschach and like Seven, uh, very gritty. Story-wise, you know, it's a serial killer story. It's the Riddler trying to figure out what's going on. Um, it felt long. It felt long. It was long. 
People said, you know, we should cut out Catwoman. Just cut out the whole excise. All of the Catwoman. I don't know about that. I thought Catwoman was fine. I thought uh, Zoe Kravitz was great. I didn't have any problem with her. It was just long. I just don't know where you would have to... I guess you would have to chop some of her out uh, to make the story still work. But it was just long. It's not always a bad thing. I saw it kind of late at night. So that made... it. Maybe if I would have saw this like 10 a.m., it would have been a breeze. It just felt long. I'll see it again, and we'll see what I think another time. I thought Riddler was great. I, I was fine with the costume change and the design change and that kind of spooky, nerdy, serial killer, internet kind of 4chan thing going. I'm totally cool with that. The clear glasses really worked for me. I thought that was a really great touch. Uh, the tech, really cool tech in it, really kind of neat little ideas. The the um, contact lens, that kind of like camera, that was kind of cool. This story does have elements of Batman Year One. So it's kind of like a Batman, it's kind of like Meza Kelly and Miller's Batman Year One. A lot of elements of that. Um, and then at the end, did you guys get that like, no man's land kind of like element too because no man's land is the the little mini series of comics i think it's a full year of batman comics that happened after cataclysm so cataclysm happened which is a big earthquake basically gotham was all kind of separated from the rest of the the the, the states the rest of the united states by like these these um this big earthquake the catechism and after that, this became a no man's land, whereas basically it's like there's martial law, there's no help from the United States federal government, all that kind of stuff. And Penguin becomes a very powerful person in this world because he is a purveyor of goods and services and kind of that uh, business guy. So at the very end, when those bombs went off, spoiler, I was thinking, oh man, this is a lot like no man's land i thought that was kind of interesting i'm sure those guys know that story so probably add a little bit of that um story is fun i liked it was it my favorite no dude dark knight still is brilliant but i thought this was very good the action was fine the you know i don't have anything negative to say about the damn thing to be honest i was ready to like say okay i got to point these things out no and on top of that, they used the damn Nirvana album. They used, I mean, Nirvana, I mean, it's like, dude, they used Nirvana? Yeah, they got Nirvana in the soundtrack. Um, nothing negative. I, I can't say I loved it. But I liked it a lot. It was fine. It was Batman. It was Batman. I'm a little fatigued. But Batman. The only Batman, really, I want to see next is for them to go completely 180. Just say, screw this audience. Who <laughs> loves these movies? Screw all you people. Go 180 and go Batman 66. Not full Adam West, but I want where it's like, yeah, Batman in space. Batman fighting something crazy. Batman doing something very different. That's not gritty. That's not, you know, all that. Because you can only do so much of seven before it just becomes damn tedious and tiresome. So what could you do differently, you know? And Batman, just modern audiences want to put him in that that defined look. And I say, screw that. Go big. We've got the technology to just have him fight damn aliens and see what that's all about. And I think you don't have to do it super campy, but I think you can come up with some cool ideas. That's my take on it. Uh, no, I thought it was great. It was good. There you go. That's my hot take. Not a hot take, just a lukewarm take. But there you go for me. Thanks for watching. Take care.